Yo, what's going on, guys? Let's talk about the Cleveland Cavaliers. I'm on a beach right now, and I'll do my best to edit the audio, but I'm here with my girlfriend, and you know what? This is called multitasking, giving the girl some love time and some beach time while I'm over here working. So let's get over. Let's talk about how bad the Cleveland Cavaliers are. And, like, look, I love the Cleveland Cavaliers. I want Ricky Rubio to come back, come out of whatever, like, mental crisis he's having. But I do enjoy this team. Shout out to Sean Sharania and, and my man, Zach Harper for this information, but currently the Cleveland Cavaliers went from being the number one defensive rating. Okay, guess what their defensive rating is this year? They went from last year being the number one defense to 10th this year. They're 22nd in offense. Last year they were ninth in offense. And I know Evan Mobley and Darius Garland have been hurt. All right, but this team is 20th in net rating. Their three point percentage is 34th. It has not been pretty, okay? And they're not even passing the ball well. Darius Garland's only averaging six assists a night, and he's their leading assister. So with that being said, let's get right into it, and let's talk about this team. Because the way that I see it, it's it's an interesting picture that's being painted. Before we continue, let me hear your thoughts down below. What do you guys think is the problem with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and why? Because it seems like things are beginning to crumble in Cleveland. Hit that like and subscribe button for more content like this. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers and your guys' support would mean the world. Now, the Cleveland Cavaliers situation is getting both bad and strange at the same time, some might say. Which, obviously, everybody knows is never a good thing. Now, the bad news, some might say, is that the Cavaliers, who are 14 and 12, are going to have to continue playing the foreseeable future, at least the next month, without two of their three best players. Mr. Darius Garland will be out for a few weeks after suffering a fractured jaw this past week. And if that wasn't bad enough, Mr. Evan Mobley is going to need knee surgery and is expected to miss six to eight weeks. Now, if that didn't seem like it was already bad enough, you might be wondering, Cyril, what, what's going to make this season that not only have they lost two of their best players they've been mediocre they're middle of the pack donovan mitchell's contract extension is hanging over them the cavaliers like i said play great defense they were the best defense last year that's the big difference being ranked nine 10th this year compared to last season where they were ranked first and their offense is so bad they literally can't do anything about it now the Cavaliers offense ranks 23rd, sits behind the Raptors, Lakers, Bulls, and Rockets at the time of making this video. 22nd, by the way, not 23rd, so they definitely got up. But they rank only 20th in true shooting percentage. And those numbers are just sad facts. This team doesn't look like a cohesive unit on offense. They don't have a vibe or a flow. They can't get the ball to move. And especially that Mitchell and Garland have barely played because Mitchell missed games at the beginning of the year. Now Garland's going to miss games. And it's seeming like giving up Larry Markkinen, Ochai Abaji, and Colin Sixth, and three first-round picks, two pick swaps, might not be worth it because there's no security that Mitchell's future is going to be here in, Ca in Cleveland. And we obviously know that Evan Mobley will not be able to flourish on offense if Donovan Mitchell continues to dribble the life out the ball. Donovan Mitchell is 27 years old. He will be a free agent after next season. If they can't get a commitment from him, how much can they even get back in a trade to for him to recoup what they gave up? The Cavaliers need this time to build enough team chemistry and figure out how to compete against the top heavy ease. They need to do this, and they need to make Donovan Mitchell feel like Cleveland is his best fit for long-term future to win it. So I think that's the big thing. Instead, they're letting they're left waiting for Mobley and Garland to get healthy and hoping that the offense and defense, you know, rebound. And I don't also I don't know if you guys heard that woman yell, which was like obnoxious, but I was here nor there. I wanna I wanna hear your guys' thoughts. Like, what's the what's the plan here? How do we improve this situation? Which obviously is not an ideal situation. So I don't know. I think you sit here, you look at the Knicks, and you go, okay. Send me RJ Barrett, Quinn, Quinn Grimes, Manuel Quickly, Miles McBride, Jericho Sims, and two first round picks. And we call it a deal, ladies and gentlemen. But that's just me. 
Hope you guys did enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm out. I'm out.